Um, I mentioned that it would be great to have 12 Green members of Parliament, or maybe I didn't mention it would be great, I just mentioned until I have 12 in a caucus, I don't get the research funding and the daily question and question period and all those things, and sit, seats on committees and so on. And on the other hand, there must be, uh, that's the question, I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Kevin. 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 Okay, so Kevin said, well, there must be conservatives who are believing the science and who are beginning to feel uncomfortable with what Stephen Harper is doing. So where is my personal uh, priority? Is it to elect 12 Green MPs? Because as Kevin said, it doesn't really care what party it is, as long as it's people are prepared to act on their beliefs. And how many of them are concerned about the climate crisis? And which thing do I care about more, electing 12 Green MPs or getting people to act? And it's obviously on the latter. It's getting people to act. Now, uh, after I was elected, I formed something called, which many people know about, the All-Party Climate Caucus. Mm -hmm. And it's chaired, by, um, uh, it's chaired by a friend of mine who's the liberal environment critic, Kirsty Duncan, who's fantastic, who used to be an IPCC scientist. The bravest of our executives is the conservative member of the All-Party Climate Caucus executive who is the member for Wellington Halton Hills in Ontario. His name is Michael Chong. And we hold, uh, and there's an NDP member as well, obviously, and a block member. We hold, uh, we take turns amongst each other, hosting briefing sessions to which we invite all members of parliament, mm -hmm. all MPs and all senators. And we try really hard to get, to get the deniers in the room so we can educate them. And we try to get the people who are on the fence. There's no point just talking to ourselves, all of us who understand climate science. So I've seen a steady improvement in the number of people who understand climate science. Uh, uh, but so between to, to get action on the climate crisis, it's a slow, steady educational effort in the House of Commons. And oh, you also he also mentioned, am I trying to foment revolt among the conservatives? <laughs> and the answer is yes. <laughs> yes. I feel as though for the last two years, I've been uh, it's sort of an exercise of sort of, there's a little bit of a spark on a fire, and I'm, I'm blowing <laughs> on very wet wood. <laughs>